Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, if you have ever tried to uninstall Microsoft Edge from Windows 10 and Windows 11, you may have found in most cases that it's almost a next to impossible task. And that's because Microsoft has integrated Edge very deeply into both operating systems. And if you have been successful, in a lot of the cases, at a later stage, the browser is known to reinstall itself due to the fact that it's so deeply integrated into Windows 10 and Windows 11 and is almost part of the actual OS itself. Now, if you are trying to uninstall Edge and you haven't been successful or you have tried to uninstall and you haven't been successful, then I thought just a video to show you a couple of other alternatives that you can try to make Edge what I would consider to be a lot less obvious in Windows 10 and Windows 11 without having to uninstall uh, the browser and also to get it to kind of disappear and consume a lot less system resources if you're not using it. So if you're not using Edge, maybe you just don't like the browser, maybe you think it's bloatware, spyware, a, a privacy hazard or whatever, then here's some uh, little tips you can try if you would be interested as alternatives to uninstalling Edge. Now, first of all, um, just to mention that f uh, some of these steps may be very obvious to a lot of users, but I'm just going systematically through some kind of key steps for those who are unaware. Now, first of all, um, I would consider setting another browser as your default browser to be your first step. So if you want to uninstall Edge, then obviously you download another browser. As an example, Chrome, Brave, Vivaldi, Opera, and so on. So to set another browser as your default browser in Windows 10 and Windows 11, we head over to our apps page. And by the way, this is a very similar process on both operating systems. And then we head to default apps. And on the default apps list, you scroll down to where you get the browser you want to set as your default. I'm just going to use Google Chrome. So you click on that and here you see set default. And over on Windows 10, it's actually a lot simpler to do. So on Windows 11, you head to the top right set default on windows 10 it's actually a lot easier to do if you head to your apps uh, default apps so that's the first thing you do is you set another browser as your default then after that what you can do is you can make it a lot less obvious you can make microsoft edge a lot less obvious by um, unpinning edge from your taskbar your start and your all apps list so if you head to your taskbar as many of you will know, you can unpin from taskbar. If you head to your start, if it's on your pinned apps list, or um, this applies to both obviously Windows 10 and Windows 11, if you've pinned it to your start, you can unpin that from your start. And something else you can do is if you don't want to see the entry uh, in your all apps list, you can just right click on the entry, head to more, open file location, and you can actually delete that shortcut. And that deleting that shortcut will actually remove that from the start menu. But just take notice, though, that when Edge updates itself automatically in the background, which it will, and that may be reintroduced at a later date. So just take note of that. And then obviously you may just from time to time have to delete that all apps a shortcut from the all apps list. So that's making it a lot less obvious in the OS, just deleting a whole lot of these shortcuts. And then if you want to... Um, prevent Edge from using excess system resources, you can try a couple of things out. First of all, in the browser, if you head to your main menu, Settings, and I have featured this on the channel before, but just a quick recap, and you head to your System and Performance page, make sure that Startup Boost, and especially this setting, Continue Running Background Extensions and Apps when Microsoft Edge is closed, is turned off because that will save you a lot of system resources and prevent those extensions and any apps that um, are part of the browser running in the background. And this actually has helped quite a lot of um, users out, as I've seen online and also in the comments of this channel. So that's quite an important one. And then something else you can do once you've done that is head back to your settings. And this time we're going to head back to our apps, our startup apps list. And then what you need to do is make sure that Microsoft Edge is not running on startup. So toggle this off. And you can also do this from your task manager by right-clicking on your, on your taskbar. And 
those are just a couple of things you can try to, as I would say, make Microsoft Edge a lot less obvious in your OS. And that's not going to uninstall the browser, but it will take a lot of the Edge visual clutter out of your everyday. So you means you can set another browser as your default. You can unpin it from taskbar, start all apps. You can stop apps from running in the background. Um, and you can obviously help it due to that fact it will save system resources. And you can also stop it running by um, when you start up your device by unchecking that toggle in the start up apps list. And I hope this was helpful. And uh, um, obviously Edge will update itself automatically in the background because it's very deeply integrated into the OS. But that should be a minimal kind of intrusion. And um, this should just make and give you a couple of other alternatives if you are not managing to uninstall Edge for whatever reason from Windows 10 or Windows 11. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.